Shalom to the good honey beard. Thursday, 25th of June, 2020, 3 p.m. And the bees are orienting. Almost all the colonies are orienting right now. Okay. <clears throat> Today being the 25th, I should have gone. I should have gone there and open up those colonies and do an assessment. However, I have my I have my notebook here instead I'm going to be getting gathering some notes here so that I'll be able to better be better know what I'm going to be doing when I open up those colonies you see what happened the temperature today is 31 degrees Celsius with a humidity of 65%. The UV index is four, moderate, and the wind speed is a bit high, like 30 kilometers an hour. So, over the past couple of days, we have been having intermittent rainfall, some heavy, with slightly gusty wind. So, what I decide to do is leave those bees alone for the moment. They're looking pretty nice. And I'll just make my notes because I'll have to be getting ready to feed in a little while. They're still getting some nectar from the citrus from the orchard. And um, as soon as that is done, we will be heading into a bit of dirt here. And um, I will have to see how I'm going to be feeding them for this coming season here. This rainy season. Anyhow, in the meantime, what I'm doing is I'm listening to the hum of the bees. I'm listening to get a good idea as to what I'm doing. Let me just make a, a little note here. All right, I'll make a little note of what I see so far. And um, I could sit down later this evening and go through my notes and decide what I'm going to be doing. So, apart from that, the only thing I'm going to be doing here is to try to rake up this grass here. Well, I wouldn't bore you with all that work stuff. Instead, 
I'll go in and check out the corn, yes? Let me see what the corn has to offer. What? We have corn, boy. And this one not ready yet. What's about this one here? All right, they're ready at night. You see how it is now? When the corn ready, you see all that looking so pale right there? That corn not ready yet. Inside here have to be a little brown like, like the silk. We corn hunting. <laughs> I'm licking my lips already. All right, look, we got a good one here. This is a good one. Yeah, man. Take that one. Another one here. There is no damn, you know. After a little while, see, look, another one here. We're getting a nice little harvest here, man. Look at this one here. See what she's silk. Right. Another one again. This corn and them being nice. Look at that silk. You see it coming out. You know, that is the corn we're talking about, man. So you know what's going on? It's curry corn time. Well, not today. It's pretty, pretty late in the day. Uh-huh, a nice fat one here, boy. Why, yeah, yeah, you see what I fly out there? Yeah, that one good. So here what I'm going to do. I'm going to just select some corn for me and the missus to have a little munch on this evening. And casino one is ready. And um, I'll leave the other corn to mature a little more. So that I'll come and get it in another time in. Yeah man. I will I was I will give you the recipe. Don't worry yourself. So this is what we have here right now. Two, four, six, eight, about ten corn. Alright. I'm gonna peel it just so I'll show you what it looked like. You see them long day how they foraging? Ah, sorry, how they are. Um. Yeah man, they're doing well man. All all of them. All man jack boy except for the, for these two here we haven't started yet i think these are start oh look that one the second one there the white one it's starting you see how they're coming out from the the entrance and they, they're flying up yeah man check them right there they're coming out and again ready to, to orient watch you see them watch them good Watch them, watch them. And two to one, you might, might see them when they, they bend their head on both sides to figure out where the gravity is in relation to the sun and all of that. And then they just wrap up the engine and take off. Yeah, man. The wind speed right now good, you know. Yeah, man. So, let me leave them to it and let me go and see what, what kind of corn we, we could um, steam just now. All right, so I was doing some work here earlier on, going through all the triangle escape and cleaning them up because I will need them in a little while when I open up those colonies to prepare for the feeding. So I have the, the black box there doing some work on it. I'm doing some work out, out on the roof there. <laughs> I'm doing things all about the place, boy. Today's an everything day. Right, so I decided to go down in the back and rake up that grass because 
Um, the weather report says that we're going to have some bad weather coming up. Some kind of small storm with um, with the Sahara dust involving it somehow or the other. And we need to stay indoors. So, I decided to go and rake up that grass there and put it one side so at least I wouldn't have to get into that in the muddy state and luckily I remember the corn so this is the nice this is the nice corn I usually would get here sometimes bigger than this and um, let me show you let me show you what my harvest look like See, that's what I'm talking about. It's going like that, man. Nice, nice, nice corn. I don't, I don't, I don't share this recipe with you. Either. I, what I usually would do, I would plant the corn so that it wouldn't get affected by all those bugs and pests. And the, the step is, you have to plant the corn dark night. What we call dark night. Dark night is when there is no moon in the sky and that day is the 14th day remember that one eh? the 14th day after the full moon is dark night if you look up in the sky you wouldn't see any moon whatsoever so watch you're not getting any any worms in the corn right see that no worms whatsoever you don't have to, you see, when you plant it on dark night, it doesn't um, attract the worms, the butterfly, that is one, lady eggs. So, you're getting your sweet corn, you know, you see? You're getting your sweet corn. But you have no problem with them worms biting up your corn and all that kind of thing. I have been planting corn all the time. Every month I plant in corn for the bees. I get some corn to eat. And the bees get the pollen. Oh yeah, so I know that the pollen isn't really um, sufficient for the bees. They don't have much of the bees. But they go on it readily, man. Eh? So why not plant it for them? They're still getting something. I'll get less it is. So this is my technique. You can take it and use it or not. I'm just showing you what I do to get my corn and I don't um, I don't boil corn I just steam the corn put it in a steamer and you could season the water right whatever seasoning you like you put it in the water and when you taste that corn man you're licking your lips, you're licking all over the place. You don't want nobody to come out and interfere with you. Let me see if I don't eat corn. I'll show you here now. See that? Nice, nice, nice corn, by the way. What do you want better than that? Yeah? And it's soft and nice, isn't it? So that, oh yeah. That is just enough for me and the missus. And we're good to go. I'm going to steam that tonight. A little later on this evening. Steam 
claro, voy bien. Bien, yeah, man. No me hija pila el papi. Se da eso a la toque, nada. So don't be lucky and coward. Yes, two to one I might make. I might make if you if you like um corn soup. I could make that for you. If you like if you like um curry corn, well you have to hold on because that will take a little while. That is how to boil long real good, you know. And if you see you get curry corn. Ah, yeah, 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 well, nothing more than that. You know, nothing better than that. So, folks, here's the thing. I'm going to see if I could fix up this for me and the missus. And we'll, catch, we'll get back to you in another video similar to this one. So, I hear this thing want to spread some more. So, please, 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 take your time. Do hustle yourself and be safe. Take care of the young ones and the whole family. Alright, TTFN.